Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael with IDB. Welcome back. In this video, we have a quick one for you today, talking about everything you need to know leading up to what is, in my opinion, Apple's biggest, most exciting event of the year, and that is WWDC. So it's happening on Monday, June 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So for your convenience in the description down below, I'll have a website which will convert this time into whatever time zone you are in so you know exactly when you can watch the event. In terms of the actual stream, you have two ways of watching it. Uh, number one is on Apple's website. So just go to apple.com and the stream will be front and center. And they're also going to be streaming it on their YouTube channel as well. So just go to youtube.com slash Apple and you'll find the stream on YouTube also. So in terms of what we can expect at this event, WWDC is always a software first event. So at this point, there are five things that we are guaranteed to be getting iOS 16, iPad OS 16, watch OS 9, Mac OS 13 and TV OS 16. So I know not many people are excited for TV OS, but the rest of the releases are going to be very exciting. So this is a last minute leak from Apple analyst, Mark Gurman. And it looks like the iPad OS release this year is going to be one of the main focuses. So he mentions it's going to have a redesigned multitasking interface, which is going to make it easier to switch between apps and see which different tasks you're currently working on. So apparently uh, he has connections to people who are working on the next version of iPad OS as they asked to be unidentified in this article. So it really looks like iPad OS is going to be uh, turning into more like a computer as it's going to have a completely different multitasking interface. And we may possibly have the window functionality that many people have been wanting out of the iPad. Mark Gurman also mentions iOS 16 is going to be getting a few big updates. Uh, one of them is a completely redesigned lock screen, which is going to feature widgets. So this is kind of exciting. Uh, right now, I find the iOS 15 lock screen to be quite boring. Uh, one wish I have for the lock screen is the ability to change the quick toggles on the lock screen. Uh, I'd love to be able to change those. Uh, but right now it just looks like we're going to get a, a redesign lock screen uh, with some widgets on them. And he also mentions there's going to be a refresh of the health app, which I did mention in my previous iOS 16 leaks and rumors video. And also apparently audio messages are going to be incorporated into some social networking type features inside of messages. So maybe messages will be turning into more of a social network. I really don't know how this will work. But uh, with people using iMessage and iPhone, uh, iMessage has already become kind of a club on its own. So I guess Apple expanding on this does make sense. And he also mentions for Apple Watch, we're going to get new watch faces. Obviously, we get new watch faces all the time. He mentions system navigation changes. So I don't know what this means. I feel like the Apple Watch works fine for me right now. But I guess whichever uh, system navigation changes Apple brings is going to be nice. And apparently there's going to be a few redesigns of a few applications. Uh, there's going to be new fitness tracking features, which I'm really looking forward to. And apparently a new low power mode, uh, because right now when you turn your watch into low power mode, all you can see is your time. So it'd be nice if we had expanded functionality when the watch is in low power mode. And it looks like that will be coming. So in his article, Mark Gurman only mentioned major changes coming to three OSs, iPad OS, iOS, and watch OS. He didn't really mention anything for Mac OS. And usually the OSs that we have major leaks for are the ones that are going to be getting the huge changes. So I don't think that TV OS and Mac OS are going to be getting huge updates this year. Uh, he did mention, however, for Mac OS that apparently the system preferences application is going to be getting a redesign to make it more like iOS. And also, just in my opinion, I think system preferences on the Mac should be renamed to settings. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that. So how can you get your hands on all of this software? Well, mm -hmm. Apple offers a public beta software program. So if you head to beta.apple.com, you can actually sign up right now just by clicking that button. And then as soon as the public betas are available for everything new, like iOS 16 and iPad OS 16 and watch OS 9, you'll be able to install the public beta on your device. So just make sure you sign up here at beta.apple.com and you can install the public beta as soon as it is available, uh, usually a few weeks after the the event. So apart from all the software we just talked about, there have been a few leaks and rumors. There's There's been some mumblings about uh, possibly some hardware coming at this event, which would be kind of exciting. Uh, there have been some talks of a MacBook Air at this event. Uh, it could be possible. However, I don't think Apple would release a MacBook Air uh, just because this is a developer focused conference. 
And the last time that Apple unveiled hardware at a WWDC, it was more pro hardware because this is a developer conference. So they're probably gonna be selling more pro style devices, more expensive devices. So releasing an entry level MacBook Air at this event just wouldn't make sense to me. I think it would make more sense for Apple to unveil their new uh, Apple Silicon Mac Pro. However, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, like I said, anything above all the software releases is just gravy because this is a software first event. So even if the only new updates we get at this event are just software updates and we get no new hardware, I still think this is going to be one of the biggest events of the year. I really do think Apple has a lot in store for all of the new updates, including iPad OS and iOS and watch OS. Uh, just because Apple has finally had time to go back to the office now instead of working at home through the pandemic. So with all the time they've had now to work in the office, I really do think Apple has a lot in store for us. So right now I want you guys to comment down below telling me what you are most looking forward to at this event. Make sure you get subscribed to this channel and also turn on notifications as we are gonna have every single piece of coverage from this event on June 6th. The first video is going to be about iOS 16 beta one. You're not gonna wanna miss that, so make sure you get subscribed and again, turn on notifications so you don't miss the video. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you in the next video.